Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're going to be taking a look at W block or right blocking in AutoCAD. This is going to allow you to easily and quickly export to a new drawing or copy to a new drawing any objects, blocks, texts, whatever you select in your drawing. It's going to copy it for us into a new one, and I'm going to show you guys how it works couple of the settings and how it can be used. So let's jump right into today's video. All right, so as I mentioned, we're gonna be taking a look at W block or right block. Uh, this command has been around for quite a while. Uh, it was kind of used initially as a way to export or save out blocks within your drawing into their own individual drawing so it's easier to bring them into further drawings down the line or new projects kind of an easy way to uh, copy out or export blocks that you want to reuse and maybe save in a folder database of blocks um, but it can also be used for a lot of cool features including making say x refs really quickly or copying out a bunch of line work that you can then insert into a blank drawing and today i'm going to show you how it works so to start you're going to just type in w and then block and hit enter and it's going to bring up the right block dialog box here so you can choose from your source options between a block so as I mentioned, this is typically used for blocks, but you can use it in a handful of ways. And then you can simply choose a single block and give it a destination uh, path here, as well as making sure you set your units to match what you've drawn your objects in. Now, the way I like to use it is to use the objects option and then it's going to allow you to pick a base point. Typically, you're going to stick to zero zero as that's going to keep the block or the line work in the same location as it is in our drawing in the new drawing that it automatically creates for us. But if you're using this to export, say, a block, then you probably want the base point to be the base point of your block. Now we're going to do this a couple times. First, we're going to use it to export out the line work of our walls. Say you wanted to create an XREF with just the floor plan walls so that you can layer or stack things like your windows or uh, blocks on top, or create a new floor plan, say for the second or third, or third floor, or even the basement. So from here, you can choose, as I mentioned, your base point, but what we're gonna do is select our objects. To do that, we can simply click this button here, and it's gonna allow us to choose some line work or objects in the drawing. We're gonna choose this main wall uh, polyline here as well as this outer one you can see that all of our walls are selected so we're gonna hit enter or space there to bring back our menu and it's gonna ask you if you would like to retain these convert them to a block or delete them from the drawing and that's referring to the objects you've selected so if you just leave it as the default retain it's just gonna leave your drawing the way it is this is typically how you're gonna use this you can also select to convert it automatically to a block in this new drawing um, as well as this one or you can delete it from the drawing by choosing this lower selection here and that's going to remove this line work from your current drawing but it's going to be retained by saving it into the new drawing now when you can choose a path down here I'm just going to copy a path and at the you can hit these uh, three little ellipses here and give it a file name and you can see it's already put it into the path that I pasted in there and it's going to default to a DXF but you can choose DWG which I would recommend for blocks or say just copying line work we're gonna call this floor layout and maybe this is going to be set up as an XREF so you can call it XREF or X depending on how you label your XREF files so we're just gonna call it XREF floor, floor layout and hit enter Again, make sure your units are set correctly and hit OK. It's going to ask if you want to include your mapping information. You can say no in most cases. And now it's as quick as that. We now have a drawing in the folder path I gave it called XREF floor layout. Now if we open it, which if you didn't know, you can simply drag 
uh, DWG files into the top bar here of AutoCAD, and it's going to open those for you. And if we zoom to extents, you can see our wall line work is in this drawing. It's in the same coordinates and in inches as our original drawing was. Now, we're going to do this once more, and I'm going to show you the same example, but maybe we're going to use it the way it uh, is kind of typically used, and that is as a block export. So we're going to select our objects again. We're going to choose our toilet block here and hit enter or space. And this time for our base point, we're going to select the back of the toilet, kind of the insert point that you're typically going to use. And then we're going to select that path again. And we're just going to call it toilet block and hit enter. Hitting OK is going to export it. We're going to say no here. And we're going to bring this up. And now we have a toilet block drawn. So this is a great way to quickly kind of spit out all of the blocks in your drawing into individual drawings or maybe grouped drawings so that you can then imp insert or import these into drawings and projects further down the road. Um, before we jump into today's last example, I wanted to remind everybody about my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course. It's packed full of over 10 years of my experience, tips, tricks, and workflows. These are going to save you time. They're going to give you a jump start on your design and AutoCAD career, including things like working with XRefs, setting up templates and drawings from scratch, how to build a base plan, exporting drawings, PDFing drawings, as well as uh, setting up your layers and line types and all that kind of stuff. It's packed full of information and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's discounted using the link up above right now as well as the link down in the description. It also comes with my AutoCAD productivity webinar as a free bonus, which is also super useful and has great reviews on Gumroad. Uh, I think you guys are going to like them, so don't forget to check them out. All right, so my last example would be in the use case where you want to send a drawing or you're asked to send a drawing file with some of your line work in it. Now, this can be an easy way to export that without having to send someone all of your design work or drawing uh, objects. So say you have a complicated floor plan or maybe you have three or four floors in a single drawing and you want to only send out one or two or just some specific objects again you're going to use the w block command or you can do this and select all of your objects in advance so i'm going to select the windows and the floor here so we're going to select everything say let's call this second floor but we don't want to send out our text labels and maybe some dimensions or notes that are our own we just want to send out the basic line work of this floor. So say these are all of the objects you want to send to a client or export out of your current drawing. You can do this by typing in W block now, and it's already going to have your objects selected. You can see down here that it has 66 objects selected. Again, you can keep all the settings the same and simply change your file name. So you can call it to send CAD floor plan. So let's say you want to send this out. You've now just selected the parts that are relevant to say your electrical designer or your landscape architect. Now all of this is included in this right block drawing. By hitting OK and hit no there, it's instantly exported. And now in our DWG folder, you can open up your to send CAD floor plan and see what's in it. You'll see right away that it's got all of the line work we uh, selected and none of the text. So this is a way to kind of pick and choose what you want to send if they don't need everything and to keep things clean because this isn't going to have excess layers and styles and xrefs. It's just going to have what you wanted to send out and that was what was selected. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something. I definitely think W block is a useful command and one that not a lot of newer designers and drafters are aware of. I'm sure many of you long-term users are familiar with it, but I hope this little refresher might have helped if so. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and hit like on this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.